So then we talk about how you change your approach to engineering because you are building serverless application that by that matter. So what is serverless? Well, serverless is a term that has many different uh, definitions and many conflicting definitions actually. Often when you hear about a definition, people are, uh, people are actually talking about what become known as function as a service or FAAS. Oftentimes, actually, these are incorrect definition because they are simply talking about a single service. Often, they are actually talking about AWS Lambda. You can consider any cloud provider. From completing serverless with a single server that has AWS Lambda is actually really unhelpful. We should probably just keep out that one out of the way pretty just straight away. There also a piece of software called Peak Serverless Framework, which is very good piece of software, but it is actually only a piece of software. It's not serverless itself. We should say at this point we are going to we are going to be using piece of software called SAM, which is very similar. Again, the ter serverless framework is in server serverless. And we have just said a bunch of things that serverless isn't so what is what is it? And uh, well, serverless is actually an approach to software development, software application, rather than a technology or a set of technologies. So ter the serverless approach de delivers a serverless application at the end of it. So you can look at the serverless application and say it's serverless and rather than change a serverless technology, serverless. It's quite an important point to make. It doesn't make sense to actually define a single service as a serverless. So you can't have a ter serverless service. However, however, what is important is that it that those service within the cloud provider like AWS, those that are the building blocks of some of these server, serverless applications are enablers. They enable those serverless applications to happen without them. You couldn't uh, actually build a serverless application. So let's think, let's have a bit of think about what AWS says about uh, serverless that quite a nice way of putting it, of course, but we had like to increase the agility and innovation. I think that uh, the serverless is about being pragmatic and producing the simplicity in your applications. Now, simplicity is very difficult to achieve and uh, let's break, out, break that out a little bit more. I think it requires a shift in thinking from code to configuration. So switching around the thinking about code more to configuration application and resources from a high length of code to low length of code to actually reducing the amount of code you produce. From building the services to consuming services. So not trying to build not trying to build have many services based application and using the services that are available. And from owning workload to disowning workload, actually trying not to build as much stuff. Uh, now that we have the basis of what a serverless application is and what a serverless is. Thank you.